Hello. I wanted to share with you my painting. I'm painting the sink. And I want to see if this works or not. I hope it works. A china painting. This fallen upside down rose. And um, this, it's got a bud with it. Now that looks a little bit gray, but it isn't. It's um, kind of a rosewood, beautiful color. Now this is a sink. It's a bathroom sink. It already has been fired once. And so I am now shading it for the second time. The second and last time. Sometimes I do it for three times the average I would say it's three times because this has to be fired in a kiln so that the, the, the painting the pigments the mineral pigments will sink into the the glaze of the porcelain and that that is what will make it permanent I painted a sink for my home I've had it like 15 years and it's still as good looking as when I first painted it because um, there's a lot of protection the painting during the firing when it gets so hot it gets red hot the glaze will will melt basically it will melt and will let the this mineral sinks sink into the glaze into the And then as it cools then it seals it and that is why it's permanent it's the same situation like if you've seen some of this antique porcelain um, those might have been painted a hundred or years ago maybe longer and they look as good as the day they were painted because of that protection of the glaze. Mm -hmm. So now usually I put a, a hummingbird, but this client is more into um, butterflies. So there's a couple butterflies there, here and here. I think two is enough. Let me see. Sorry if this is shaking, but I am painting 
and holding the phone camera, iPhone. And so, so you could see how I go about doing this. This is a China painting. We are still in lockdown here because of um, the virus. COVID-19, so I might as well do something entertaining and fun, like painting a bathroom sink. Might as well bring the outdoors indoors. Although I do have my garden in the backyard where I, that I can go out. I do go out to it quite off, quite often. But anyway, see, I cut some roses. I bring the roses into the house while I'm painting. It kind of helps me for inspiration since it's what I'm trying to paint, roses. Might as well have some roses to look at. Okay. Now. I like to separate the petals, for one rose from another, because, um, See, I'm creating a little shading in here to bring this one out to the forefront. I will do a final, once this is kiln fired and right before I get ready to ship out, I will take another little video so that you can see the end result. Who knows, maybe I'll have another butterfly around. I'm teach, I teach, uh, I have um, China painting students, so I thought that especially they would enjoy watching me do um, a little bit of it anyways, so they know that it's not just uh, cups and saucers. You can paint all kinds of things with, as long as it's porcelain, good decent quality porcelain then you, it can be painted as long as you have a big kiln it's all possible now this rose here is kind of just like looking head on we can see the inside of it even so I like to do several types like in the different um, shapes the ones that look right straight at you and then the upside down one and then the bud in different stages of growth I think that's um, it adds to to it it adds to your painting to make it look a little more organic how things happen in real life. That is uh, the idea. Now, without cleaning my brush, I am going to go right into 
the green paint so I can do a little bit of shading to those leaves. Maybe this one here. Okay, I'm going to continue shading the rest of this, adding a little more depth to it, like this, see? And that's it. I hope that I, you enjoyed this, a little peek into my um, china painting, a bathroom sink. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.